Hello and good evening. This is the Daily News podcast. I'm Navya Singh and here are the most important news that deserve your attention today. Let's get started. India added over 50,000 coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours for the very first time. Now this was the biggest single day spike in cases so far. At least 52,123 covid cases were reported in the last 24 hours pushing the coronavirus tally to beyond 15,83,000. At least 775 people have died due to the virus in the last 24 hours and the total fatalities now stand at 34968. Over 10,20,000 people have already recovered of the deadly virus in India, pushing the recovery rate to beyond 64.43%. Shifting focus to Ayodhya, a priest and 14 policemen on duty at Ayodhya's Ram Janmabhoomi complex where the groundbreaking ceremony for the Ram temple is expected to be held on 5th of August have tested positive for COVID-19. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to attend the ceremony along with 50 other VIPs. The policemen who have tested positive for COVID-19 were engaged in security duties at the Ram Janmabhoomi complex in Ayodhya. In another major news, three personnel of the Assam Rifles were killed and five others injured in an ambush in Manipur's Chandil district near the Indo-Myanmar border on Thursday. The incident took place when suspected terrorists ambushed a patrol party of four Assam Rifles by exploding what is believed to be an IED. They then opened fire at the personnel of the security force. The incident took place at around 6:30 p.m. on Wednesday evening. The new national education policy has evoked mixed reactions and responses from experts and general public with many of them referring to the reforms as long due and groundbreaking while others have cautioned that the devil lies in the details and hoping that the moves get translated into action on the ground teaching up to class 5 in mother tongue or regional language lowering the stakes of board exams allowing foreign universities to set up campuses in india a single regulator for higher education institutes and much more constitute the sweeping reforms in the new national education policy that was unveiled by the government on july 29th that's all for today i'll be back with some more important news tomorrow till then stay safe stay logical